Price pest control on boarding will begin shortly. Please remain seated. Welcome to Prize Pest Control, Rookie. My name is Tanya, and I'll be your personal bug-busting mentor for today. So buckle up and get ready to see how it's really done. First, familiarize yourself with the mechanical controls, which are located right in front of you. Try to grab the left controller. Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing Big Shots on the PlayStation VR 2. I purchased the game this morning, on, this Grand is like a mech control. shooter, it looks really really nice so far on the headset, we just saw the uh, the quick intro to Come the on, game, Grab it's got like control. a Borderlands type vibe to it, let's dive in, let's have some fun. Okay this looks really detailed, Come on, rookie. Grab super sharp and control. clear on the PlayStation VR 2. Okay grab the controls. Now grab the one on your right. Ensure you have a good grip on those controls. Yes. Otherwise, you'll just be flailing your arms around like one of them fancy car dealership balloon fellers. To release one, just press the grab button again. Try to release both of them. Okay, so step one is a check. Now step two is... I'm gonna unlock your head tracking now. Buckle up, rookie. This tech syncs with your head movements, broadening your vision. All right, enough chit chat. Time to set you free and see what the world has in store for you. Take over the controllers and move the joystick in any given direction. It doesn't matter which joystick you use to move your mech. Okay, this is really cool. It really has got like a Borderlands vibe. Okay, moving forwards. There we go. I've got bug busting business to attend to, rookie. Pick up a controller and get moving. This is quite fast. All right, let's dive into the art of mech turning. It's all about making sure you've got the right direction nailed down, just the way you like it. To do this, grab the right controller and swipe your hand to the side while holding the highlighted button. Release the button once you're done. Okay, I'll okay, yeah. Imagine you're grabbing onto the world and rotating it around yourself. Yes. You can rotate with both hands. Let's test this out with this mandatory vision check. Take a look at the poster on the left. Now, take a look at the poster on your right. By the way, if you feel that the direction of rotation didn't quite feel right, then grab this lever and slide it to invert the rotation. Okay, so let me try inverting it. Go ahead, give it a spin. You should choose the direction that feels the best for you. You can always change this setting if necessary. That feels better for me. Later on, you can also try out different methods of rotation. Time to head over to the shooting range and test your skills. It's going to take me a while to get used to the turning mechanic by holding down the button and then moving your, your controller because normally you turn with the uh, thumbstick but in this game when you use the thumbstick look it's like a side step this guy is doing his exercise hoop, 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 hoop. The world feels alive, which is a good sign. I really hate getting into VR worlds that feel quite dead and lifeless. Focus on the highlighted object. This is the radar. It will be your vigilant lookout for any unwelcome surprises. Those uglies will crawl up sooner or later. So keep your eyes locked on this little fella. And we'll crush those bugs when they dare to mess with us. Finally. We can now talk about the fun part of the mech. As you may have noticed already, your mech is outfitted with two badass flat guns. Perfect for annihilating enemies. Yes. Use the right trigger to destroy the target. Now shoot the other target with your left trigger. Next up, weapon swapping. 
you can switch to a different weapon during a shift. This applies to both hands, but let this is the flamethrower. It's perfect for close combat. All right, rookie, test out your skills on this training exercise. Shoot the targets and try to beat the high score. Let's see what you got. There's nice haptic when you shoot. This feels really polished. I'm loving the tutorial. The tutorial's really well done. Now, get ready for it to get even better. I'm now activating the converter. You can place this canister in the highlighted slot. Okay. And you have to remember to uh, hold your grip to let go of the weapons. In a lot of your games, when you're holding the weapon, you have to hold down the grip button. In this game, you hold and let go. Okay, grab that. Put that in there. What's it going to do? What's that going to do? That will never get old. Nice, right? You can pick your own ultimate in the price shop. I am also legally required to mention that this is an ad. All right, let's roll. Head over to the cliffside. You can't beat a really good mech game in VR. It feels like you're in the uh, film Pacific Rim. It does feel like you're in a mech for real. Okay. So we need to turn around, don't we? Time to teach you how to properly maneuver your mech. You can use the dash by moving the joystick in the direction and pressing it down. All our mechs are okay. equipped with a short distance propulsion system. In other words, a short flight jetpack. You operate it with just one hand. Simply grab the handle between your legs and pull it upward. Okay. I hope you're not afraid of heights because I sure as hell am. Regardless, try to reach the top of the cliff. Just about made it, come on. Well, well, well. Look who's making their grand entrance. <laughs> a little wobbly on a landing, huh? All right, the finish line is in sight. Let's pick up the pace and dash to the end of the road. Time to wrap up this training so I can get back to work. Yeah, this 100% feels like a Borderlands game. You hear in that, VR. Rookie? She is what caused this mess in the first place. At the end of this corruption, the portal awaits, and your mission is crystal clear. Reach it at all costs and eliminate the queen. The dropship will pick you up and fly you into orbit to your workshop, where you can tinker on your mech and prepare for the mission. As your operator, I'd like to welcome you aboard, rookie. Okay, if I'm honest, I think I would prefer to be able to turn the mech with my right thumbstick and use the left thumbstick for doing the uh, the uh, dodging left and right. Other rotation options are now unlocked. Okay, that's good to know. So let me have a look at the uh, settings. English rotation options. I want smooth rotation. I'm going to try the smooth rotation option. See if I can use my thumbstick. Career mode. We've got like cosmetics here. So it looks like we can uh, paint the robot. He looks massive in front of me. I'm in space in a really cool hangar. We're going to start a game. Listen up, rookie. A lot of alien activity has been reported in these parts. R&D has a running theory Queen is somehow tethered to this location. Let's see if we can lure her out. Buckle up. It's about to get cozy out there. The turning's on my left. I want it on my right, I think. Let me go back to the options. Snap rotation on the right. Okay. Okay, that's better. So my rotation is on my right-hand side. 
Those are grunts, rookie. They're the foot soldiers of the Queen's army. Tough in numbers, but dumb as a rock. Okay, why is my uh, left weapon not working? Watch the heat on those guns, or you'll be a sitting duck. I need to grab it, that's why you idiot. I'm like, why is my weapon not working? I need to grab it. You with as many upgrades as possible, but the final decision is in your hands. Choose the ones that will eventually transform you into an unstoppable force. Uh, okay, let's go for the blue one, the Cryomatic Infuser. That one, huh? I need to remember to hold the uh, the weapons. Okay, there's a mech behind me, I think. I felt like something was attacking me. Okay, let's go for the flamethrower on my right. If only they had an option for autopilot, huh? Increase your damage when your health is low. Increase fire rate. Let's go for that one. So this is like a roguelike mech game. I do like how the enemies are on the uh, side of the uh, map. They are climbing a lot. I do like that. It makes the game a bit more interesting. Let's burn this one. Where's he gone? Burn baby, burn! Pop goes the bug. Okay, I'm going to go for the health recover. Upgrade successful. Try not to show off too much, or the other mechs might get jealous. Time to dance, Junior. Here comes another wave. Send him out. Yeah, this is really fun. This is the type of game I could sink many, many hours into. Watch the heat on those guns. You'll be a sitting duck. I do like roguelike games. And this is the first roguelike game I've played really in a mech. He's on fire. Okay, there's something over here. What's Your that? Canister's ready and waiting. A little extra firepower never hurt anyone. Except okay. Us. That looks like um, the Star Trek Enterprise. Let's go for that one. It's about to get ugly. Rookie. There's something here, I missed it. A drop pod just landed. Drop pod. Pilot. Go collect it to get some loot and an upgrade if you're lucky. Grab the guns, PD. Damaging the drop pod. Okay, we need to keep them away from the drop pod. Okay, I managed to get the loot. I'm being targeted, look. On the floor. Good guy. So where's the one that's targeting me? I thought I'd be able to blow those canisters up. Is there a lot? Die, critter. So which one will it be? Um, we're going to go for the green one, warmed up. That one, huh? Extra damage when I'm warm. Get that rookie. Another wave's on its way. 
Okay. Don't tell me that. Hmm. Yes, this must be the scientist is talking about. Bill, I can hide behind here though, which is cool. Okay, listen, Rook. Defeat the proxy. We believe this could be the point. Where's he gone? He moved. Is he behind me? He's quite hard. Keep an eye on your weapon temperature. So I need to try and burn him a bit. Stop the uh up we go. Burn! Few more hits like that, it is his. He doesn't like that. I could do with these bugs dropping some health. Oh we died. I guess we'll just have to roll with the punch. So close. That looks like the first boss, so there's like different waves look. Practice over. Oh, there's a, a ball here. Like a baseball ball. Things are about to get intense. Ready your mech for anything. Okay, I'm ready this time. They're coming in fast. Brace your mech. Okay, this is like a different level. So it looks like all the levels are randomly generated, which is pretty cool. I do like to have randomly generated levels in my roguelike. Ease off the trigger for a sec. That sure was entertaining. No, he's dead. Come on, we got him. That's another win for us. We got a trophy, baby step. Um, I'm going for the epic roulette rush. Okay, we have flares. What's happening? I'm being picked up. Okay, on to the next level, I guess. We're going to have a quick look at the caverns. The patterns are the same as last time. Tremors and corruption. Enough reasons to believe that there might be some proxies around here. Or whatever our idea is calling these things. And then we're going to see if anyone's playing online. A drop pod just landed, pilot. Go collect it to get some loot and an upgrade if you're lucky. Your tactics. Okay. Well, that's an interesting combo. The enemies are going Time to burn to more. Junior. Here comes another way. Send them out. Oh, look at these. I can't shoot those. Drop pod just landed. Come on, come on. Rookie, watch out for mud munchers. We're okay, where are these coming attacks, from? But they're known to be sneaky. Stay nimble and ready to jump. So these ones are coming out from the ground. Can we burn them? You could fry an egg on those destroyers. Keep the top down.
Wiggle worm. <laughs> Upgrade here. If only they had an option for autopilot, huh? Concentrated flame. I'm going for the uh, increased bullet damage first. We are getting some money, so that's probably what we need to purchase items. Something down here. Hot, hot, hot. All bugs eliminated. Outstanding work out oh, there. Oh, yes, let's go for the legendary Gatling gun. Yes, please. Time to step up, pilot. And we're going to overpower it. Now we're talking. Look at this thing. To my weapon. They don't stand a chance. I got the power. Give your weapon some cooldown time. Huh? Okay, we have another boss monster. Where is he? Up here somewhere. I need to get to the top. Watch the heat on those guns, or you'll be a sitting duck. Okay, let's go up here. I like flying ones now. Watch the heat on those guns. Don't get sick and duck. Okay, we're doing legendary damage here. He's going down. The big boy is going down. Dead. 
we got him. Okay, let's go for the uh, extra nozzle. Time to go home. Yeah, this game's loads of fun. Okay, I'm going to buy the Scorch King. It's a hat. So we have a new hat for my mech. Okay, I regrettably need to buy the PlayStation Plus online. So I'm going to have to purchase the uh, PlayStation Plus to be able to play this game with other people. So far this game's cost me £20 plus £7 to play online. Okay, we're going to find a public game. Searching for a room. I've been searching for 10 minutes now. I can't find any games. This is one of the reasons why I don't like to buy the PlayStation Pass. On PC it's free. I don't have to pay for no passes. I'm doing my best to support PlayStation VR 2 by buying the games. Sony really needs to sort out this sh to promote these games, especially PlayStation VR 2. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.